मेरी एक विश थी कि मेरा एक पोस्टर जो है जुहू पे कहीं लगे आई मीन क्या जरूरत है वो मेरा परसेप्शन है ना मेरे को मेरे लिए बहुत है वो देखो ट्रोलिंग तो हैज बिकम लाइक अ थिंग नाउ आई थॉट आई लॉस्ट माय मदर एंड देन आई सॉ हर अलाइव मतलब मेरी पहली फिल्म फ्लॉप हुई और मुझे लोगों ने ऐसा तरका कि मतलब अरे अब तो तुमको कोई चांस नहीं देगा एंड देन ही टुक मी टू दादर स्टेशन बिकॉज दादर स्टेशन एट दैट टाइम वाज फिल्ड विद माय फोटो सेल मी हम सिकंदर हम हार नहीं मानते हाय दिस इज शर्मा सिकंदर एंड यू आर वाचिंग मी ऑन द बॉलीवुड टॉक शो आई डब्ल्यू एम बस मेरे दोस्तों यहां पे एवरी टाइम व्हेनेवर आई हैव पीपल ऑन माय शो आई यूजुअली हैव पीपल एंड एक्टर्स फ्रॉम विद इन द इंडस्ट्री बट यहाँ पे मेरे साथ अभी है एक ऑस्कर नॉमिनेटेड एक्टर बेसिकली है मेन एक्टर ये ऑस्कर बोलो ग्रैमी बोलो हर तरीके का नॉमिनेशन इनको ऑलरेडी मिल चुका है आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट कैसपर द लेजेंडरी कैसपर ऑल द गर्ल्स आउट दियर जिनको नंबर चाहिए कैसपर का प्लीज देख लो इधर है तो अगर उनको कॉल करके देखना है आपको नंबर मैसेज करके देखना यू माइट जस्ट रीच आउट टू समू डो एक्सपेक्ट एंड आई विद मी द लवली शमा सिकंदर ओवर हियर शी इज कॉल्ड टू अ ब्यूटीफुल हाउस फॉर दिस लवली शूट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल थैंक यू सो मच एंड वेलकम टू द बॉलीवुड टॉक शो हाउ यू डूइंग Sure. Thank you so much for the lovely introduction and lovely introduction, Casper. Deserves it. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> uh, I am doing great. Yeah. I am um, enjoying the yeah. summer, which is not yeah. so summery. Not so summery at all. <laughs> which is good. Yeah. Yeah, it feels good. Yeah. You know, it just feels like yesterday at times. Uh, because it it feels yesterday for me because i was just 4 years old at that point of time 1999 came this movie called man uh, <laughs> almost 25 years into the industry mainstream yes. entertainment yes. industry i'm not talking about the struggle and hardship mm-hmm. that you have had mm-hmm. before but mm-hmm. proper logo ke samne yeah. limelight ke baad 25 mm-hmm. years almost yeah. that's that's a long time you know ups and downs to hota hi hai but if i have to ask you that one highlight of your entire career which has meant the most to you in terms of emotional aspects and point of view Oh wow, there's so many. Yeah. I don't know. I I how do I take out like one yeah. memory out of it? Um But okay, let me just say the first time when it happened. The first time when it happens is always mm. special because yes. you work so hard for it and mm. you give your life mm. to it and uh then the first time when I got ye meri life hai yeah. and um All my posters were all over, mm. and uh, there was a. मेरी एक wish थी कि मेरा एक poster जो है जुहू पे कहीं लगे, you know, जुहू के जो circle पे एक सब के posters लगते हैं, then you feel like you've arrived. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I think I just wanted to see that one poster, and then one day, and I was, I had already started getting into depression by then. Mm. Very mild. I didn't know yeah. at that time, and I think that was one of the night when I had shot and everything, and I had a very bad um, circumstance in my life, so it was really low. Mm. And so um my best friend at the time and the producer of the show he just felt like cheering me up and then he came and he says come on come on at night 12 o'clock he's like come 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 i need to show you something yeah. i said at 12 what do you want to show me he's like no no we are going out for a drive i've got a new car he said and and then you come you drive it so i said you sure you want me to drive your new car and he's like yeah, yeah i want yeah. you to drive it and it was a toyota yeah. i remember yeah. and at that time toyota was a big car and toyota yeah. camry like yes, 12 lakh yes, yes, ki gaadi us waqt to mere liye bahut badi baat thi and i had just learned driving so i was also like fascinated by it because ki mere dost ko bada shauk hai mujhse gaadi thukwane ka you know i love the way she says ki gaadi thukwane ka not gaadi chalwane ka because i was 100% sure ki kuch to hoga ghar par so and he was very sweet and i love him to death he's this truly a best friend so he is taking me out and he's uh, you know i'm driving his car and then his whole motor was and he's saying oh my god look at this this is your your you, you on the on the boarding here you on the boarding here you on the boarding and i'm seeing everywhere yeah. and i'm seeing he literally made me drive from borivali to you know dadar or something that's that's quite a long he distance he did and, and he showed me and then he took yeah. me to dadar station yeah. because dadar station yeah. at that time was filled with my photos yeah. like every photo was yeah. there yeah. any any hoarding yeah. that was that could possibly there was of my show तो बेसिकली एक पॉइंट ऐड कर दूं बेसिकली घर में जितने भी वो लोग मर्द लोग हैं वो लोग जो सब्जी खरीदने जाते थे वो ज्यादा सब्जी खरीदने नहीं जाते थे वो शमा सिकंदर के पोस्टर्स देखने जाते थे वहां पे नोट डाउन कर लेना तुम लोग सो उस वक्त वो सब देखे एंड आई वाज लाइक आई आई रिमेंबर टियरिंग अप विद जॉय सैडनेस एवरीथिंग टुगेदर इट वाज लाइक अ मिक्स थिंग लाइक सैडनेस बिकॉज़ आई वाज सैड इन दैट मोमेंट एंड आई वांटेड टू रियली बी जॉयस टू सी ऑल दैट वाज वाज समथिंग लाइक to see yourself mm. at every nook and corner mm. of the city was something but i was so sad so it was like a mix 
uh, a combination yeah of everything and i will never forget that night i did bang his car by the way a main boy they go away last kill rakha wahan pe sab kuch ho gaya acha khasa ho gaya then you end with a bang you know i did not bang his car some drunk driver was oh. driving and it was a saturday night or something uh, and i was standing on the freaking uh, uh, signal uh. and thinking oh thank god maine gaadi nahi thoki bahut achhi chalai maine gaadi aur yeah. somebody just ran into your rams into the car and yeah. i was like Are you kidding me? You know, जब किस्मत खराब होता है ना तब इंसान अगर रूट पे भी बैठता है ना तो भी उसको कुत्ता हाँ एग्जैक्टली आई एंड आई फील इट्स ऑल अबाउट मैनिफेस्टेशन बिकॉज आई पुटिंग सो मच फेयर इन इट वो हो ही गया मतलब मैं अच्छे चला रही थी बताओ किसी और ने आगे करेक्ट तो उसने वो खड्डा कभी ठीक नहीं कराया बाई दी <laughs> how sweet how sweet but you know 25 years is a long time you know i yes. mean in terms of people start you know a lot of young yes. girls they start aspiring since the time they're like 17 yes. 18 or so a 25 years complete karna and still being relevant in some way or the other you talk about being movies yes. bolo ya fir social media relevance yes. well that's also a huge thing uh-huh. do you somewhere down the line feel ki uh, you know people who are actually sensations on social media kahin na kahin jaake unko look down upon kiya jata hai because uh, it's still something on the rise you know it's still rising it's mm-hmm. not i mean in terms of public perception agar main bolu to usko shayad equal darja nahi diya jata for say an actor or a performing mm-hmm. artist who is say relevant in movies right. or even right. tv right you know usko kahin na kahin jaake thoda troll kiya jata hai ki yaar matlab isko shayad iske alawa kuch nahi aata but us cheez ke liye bhi kitna mehnat lagta hai to create that kind of content and prepare is a lot do you think ki wo thoda hai abhi bhi hamare yahan pe dekho trolling to has become like a, a thing yeah. now yeah. like everybody wants to troll yeah. somebody yeah. because it's very easy to sit yeah. behind a uh you know a, a facade and say whatever you want to say i've noticed it many times like people say things on whatsapp people say things on twitter people say but when they are confronting you yeah. they have no courage Both to speak ha sab band ho jati hai so i think ye jo social media ka jo platform mila hai jo log frustrated hain ghar pe jinko kuch kaam nahi hai unko kuch kisi na kisi ke bare mein burai bolna hi hai or or people who are unhappy from within they just want to say something uh, to let out their unhappiness on the world they just Use trolling as a medium for their frustration. It doesn't really mean something. Mm. I just want to tell everybody that वो आपसे सच में कोई ऐसी दुश्मनी रखते नहीं है. You know, it's just a let out for them. Vent out. Yeah, venting, yeah. venting out their frustration. You know, I think Casper is wanting to uh, jump. Oh. Uh, okay. चलो इतना तक ही था. इतने पैसे में इतना मिलता है. Sorry, you won't get more uh, any more. Of Casper. उसके लिए अगले time वापस. Now he'll sit down and he'll watch me. Look at him. How sweet. <laughs> So, uh, yeah. so, so what happens is, uh, do not even go there. Secondly, I do agree that people don't get that kind of standard or that kind of status uh, just by being a social media sensation. There is a reason behind it. See, when somebody is acting or dancing or uh, singing, mm. these talents have a power to transport you in another world. Right, fair point. If somebody, if you go to watch a movie and if you're watching an actor perform well, mm. you are not there. You forget who you are. Yes. And you are in his story. Yeah. You become that character, Person. or you you just are you're lost mm. in that world. So mm. people who create cinema has that power. Mm. Unfortunately, people on social media don't have that power. Mm. All they can do on social media is mostly just, you know, most things that I have noticed mm. is is all about little mm. sexy dancing yeah. or little. um um good photo shoots mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it's there's a there's a limit mm-hmm. to it to transform people or to transport them in another world when you hear some singer sing fabulously you mm-hmm. like you you become the song yeah everybody listening to the song become mm-hmm. the song yeah. there's that power mm-hmm. that power social media guys have yet not discovered Discovery. and maybe they will someday mm-hmm. uh but you rightly said so that they do i mean it does take a lot of effort but when i do a photo shoot it takes my whole day planning for the photo shoot what looks are going to be yeah. it takes a lot and if somebody is there putting in so much effort we are no one to criticize them we are no one to you can judge all you want you can judge according to your perception of life that this is not right this is right or this is mm. i don't like this you have all that right mm. but keep it to yourself mm. that right remains within yeah. your yeah. Uh, uh you know mm. um mm. whatever you want to call it. It, it it doesn't mean that you have the right to vomit it on other person mm. Mm. you know i i think that's wrong that's the only thing that is wrong you cannot stop judgment you have a brain all of us have a brain all of us have a a uh, life experience through which we use our brain uh to um 
translate something uh, to us and it's okay it's okay to feel it's okay to not like something it's okay to not like somebody it's okay to not like another person's perspective mm. you don't have to use it in your life mm. but to say it to that person on their platform yeah. on their this thing i mean that is not right that is not cool that's not cool that's not that's not ideal and what am i saying because you to keep the other person's perspective in uh, mind and dil nahi dukhana chahiye basically that is what i mean kya zarurat hai wo mera perception hai na mere ko mere liye bahut hai wo मुझे आपको भी सुनाना है उसको भी सुनाना है उसको भी सुनाना है फिर जाके वर्ल्ड पे भी लिखना है क्यों भाई आई एज लॉन्ग एज इट डजेंट इन्वॉल्व एवरीबडीज बेनिफिट यू नो वेन वी टॉक अबाउट एस्पायरिंग आर्टिस्ट एक्सेट्रा सबका एक ड्रीम होता है कोई अगर बॉम्बे से ओरिजिनली होता है यू नो दे सी द इंडस्ट्री थ्रू इन इन एंड आउट वेन पीपल कम फ्रॉम आउटसाइड दे हैव सर्टन एम्बिशन यू नो मे बी टेन ईयर्स डाउन द लाइन फिफ्टीन ईयर्स डाउन द लाइन ट्वेंटी ईयर्स डाउन द लाइन एंड अचीव दिस आई अचीव दैट मेरा शायद एक अच्छा घर होगा मेरे पास यू नो आई हैव बिग कार्स एंड एवरी थिंग नाउ दर यू हैव कम्प्लीटेड ऑलमोस्ट ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स लुकिंग एट बैक एट दैट एज वट वर द काइंड ऑफ ड्रीम्स दैट यू हैड बिकॉज उस टाइम के ड्रीम्स एंड से द ड्रीम्स दैट यू इवेंचुअली रियलाइज आफ्टर थर्टी ईयर आर क्वाइट डिफरेंट उस टाइम पे थोड़े बहुत यू नो मेटेरियलिस्टिक ड्रीम्स भी होते हैं इवेंचुअली जाके यू रियलाइज कि नहीं लाइफ इज मोर देन जस्ट दैट what were the kind of dreams and ambitions that you had at that point of time and 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 how have you actually managed to get hold of all of them right now in this phase so i have always been a family person mm-hmm. and i think i was a giver from my birth yeah and so when i see something when i i saw my parents struggle a lot i saw i saw them not eating properly and then giving us their food i see a lot i observe things so when i saw that in my parents and i i noticed it and i you know i was very young at that time i was just at the age of sort of coming to an age where I, my brain had started to function function not function but like started to realize certain things maturity wise uh, yeah so i was very young but i was old mentally so i could see all that at that age at the age of 8 or 9 i could see that that my parents are really like you know doing so much for us and so my entire i i remember my dream to be like i just want to give all the joy and all the luxury to my parents <laughs> that was my dream nothing else i didn't want to be a star i i didn't know any of this i didn't know anything better all i wanted to do is just to give my father my mother my my brother sister at that time i just wanted to give them a good life because we had struggled for food we had struggled for so much and we came from so much and then suddenly we had nothing mm. so i had the knowledge that we had so much and then when you go and you have nothing it is even worse i understand you know because so, you have had the feeling of yes, getting it all before yes so i just wanted to bring that life back i just wanted them to have a house because we have shifted to so many homes mm. it was tiring at one point it was like ah oh, when are we going to have our own house when are we going to stop struggling into in trains because there have been time when my mother almost died on a train station and i was witness to that trauma and it was so traumatic for me uh, and, and being the the elder child i did not give myself permission to even show how hurt i was with that like she almost died in front of me one day because she wanted to cross something and there was a train coming and she thought she could cross it somehow she just like you know i was holding hand of yeah. my mother and she just ran and she couldn't she fell on the track there was a man luckily who pulled her out and then the train by the time the train also can stop you know yeah. it, takes it takes a little, little bit time. of time so yeah. it stopped at half the station i thought i lost my mother and then i saw her alive so at that time when you go through so much struggle all you want is just a happy peaceful life where we have our home where we have a car where we don't have to go through all this and there are many more i'm not going to take you on that sad journey but you know so my entire dream was just to give a good life to my family and i am so grateful yeah. that i'm able to do that today yeah. um other than that i wanted to fulfill my my dad's dream because his dream was for me to win an oscar and become an actor and this and i so love as we like dad you want me to i how is that even possible and he said that you see one day it will happen yeah. when the world will come together yeah. i said and at that time thinking of oscar was yeah. just thinking of it was extremely courageous i don't know how my father thought of these things i didn't even know that i was capable of becoming an actor but he thought of that and he said you you and i said dad have, have you seen these guys I mean, look at them how beautiful they are 
and then my father actually scolded me one day what makes you think you're not beautiful absolutely like you know never ever say that to yourself mm. i said no i don't know if i'm beautiful like you know i you think you say i'm beautiful i don't know but as a child you don't know all mm. these things you're, you're a child you're just figuring things out now when everybody says you're so pretty you i i believe that i'm pretty yeah. <laughs> i'm beautiful yeah. <laughs> so so yeah so that's the difference that was my dream uh, other than that I just wanted to fulfill my father's dream of me becoming an actor and that's mm. why I became mm. an actor. Mm. Uh, I just wanted to fulfill everything that he had in his mind mm. because I knew that he had sacrificed a lot of his life for us. You know when the intentions are noble kahin na kahin jaake eventually I think ho hi jata hai. I think ho jata hai. Yeah and and I was uh, gifted. Yeah. I was gifted. I I I am gifted yeah. of you know everybody calls me a good actor and um mm. they they appreciate my work so that's a gift. So I had to realize that gift mm. and I had to value that gift and i had to mm. surrender myself to mm. that gift mm. you know uh Of course, you know, just like a lot of other people, you also आपके family में से कोई industry में जितना मुझे मालूम है नहीं था right? You had to create your own right. journey, just like a lot yes. of others. Yes. Uh, Priyanka Chopra, I think just two days back, or one day back, she said that despite having reached a certain status mm -hmm. in her career, she was still pushed mm -hmm. aside because mm -hmm. uh, and वो किसी भी तरीके से हो. But as an outsider, she has faced that. Now it doesn't matter, uh, you know, what kind of success you have had, what kind of success you have had mm -hmm. here or in the West, whatever. At the end of the day. it all boils down to an outsider woman being pushed aside yeah. maybe because of insecurities of a lot of people sure. lobbying inside or whatever reasons jo bhi ho apne khud ke career mein because you started with a with quite an interesting note you know i mean uh, i mean a big blockbuster movie like that it was huge yeah. i think i it was one of the first movies that i mere khud ke yeah. memories mein hai my parents had taken me because they couldn't keep me alone in the house of course at 4 years of age and i remember i have visuals in my mind in the kind of emotional scenes bola pe kuch bhi it it was quite a banger of a start yeah. you know uske baad ja ke have you ever felt ki chalo theek hai there are people already there maybe a mixture of my own decisions along with uh, you know people lobbying or maybe coming against me because they see a certain potential because not many people are encourages towards your uh, talent you know i mean most people don't people want yeah. you to fail yeah. it's very few people yeah. want you to succeed did you have those kind of situations as well back oh, yeah, from time? the very first film it always happens you see this is life and these are the struggles that we face uh, in our industry when i came i was very new i was really innocent i had no idea uh, i was also inexperienced i yeah. didn't i didn't have any experience of this sort of yeah. before or yeah. any experience of life before i was 13 14 and my father decided oh chalo filmon mein kaam karenge at that that age what do you know you know nothing of the world so i learned everything of the world through the industry it was sad but i would say i would take it in a positive stride and say no it was good because i learned so much about so much at mm. such a you know short span of my life otherwise people spend their entire life journey then to still figure just out. to understand things you know i could understand human behavior so well uh, from that age and when you you know you see so many insecure people you see people who are at big stages in their careers and they still have such insecurities it was i it was an eye opener for me i mean there are many people who've told me you'll never become something you'll have to sleep with this one you have to sleep with that one if you don't do anything uh, like that tumhara career kahin nahi gaya so i used to think yaar ye kya hai matlab main to actor banne aaya hu yahan pe ये लोग ये क्या बातें करते हैं वर सो मेनी अदर एस्पेक्ट टू दिस दैट आई डिन नो और आई डिट अंडरस्टैंड और माई फादर डिन नो बिफोर बुरीज और लाइक यू नो इट्स इट्स एन इंडस्ट्री माई डॉटर हैज टैलेंट शी इज ब्यूटीफुल वी डिन नो द टैलेंट तो कहीं आपका रहता है यू नो देर आर अदर टैलेंट यू नीड टू टू एक्चुअली सक्सीड एंड आई डेंट कम फ्रॉम अ पॉलिटिकल बैकग्राउंड आई डेंट अंडरस्टैंड द पॉलिटिक्स ऑफ ऑफ द इंडस्ट्री सो देर इज पॉलिटिक्स आई मीन you know all so many people are talking about this and and if you're an outsider to an outsider ki baat to bhi ho rahi hai us waqt to mujhe samajh mein nahi aaya us waqt to mujhe laga ki theek hai of course jab aap yahi industry ke hote hain aap ye sab cheezon se bach jate hain because you have that protective layer around sure aapke apne struggles hote honge i don't deny that also they have their own struggles but ye jo struggle hote hain na ek jo base milne ka struggle jahan roti nahi hai kapda nahi hai makan nahi hai aur aap sala kaam dhoond rahe ho और काम के लिए भी आपको बस अंदर भी नहीं घुसाया जाता है चांस भी नहीं दिया, नहीं दिया जाता है वो एक अलग ही किस्म का स्ट्रगल है जैसे कि आई थिंक मैंने आज ही वो इंटरव्यू पढ़ा प्रियंका का उन्होंने कहा कि भाई अगर आपकी फिल्म फ्लॉप हो जाती है तो और आपको चांस देने के लिए लोग नहीं है वो सच है मतलब मेरी पहली फिल्म फ्लॉप हुई 
और मुझे लोगों ने ऐसा तरका कि मतलब अरे अब तो तुमको कोई चांस नहीं देगा अब तब तुम ये नहीं करेगा वो नहीं करेगा आई सॉ आई वॉज कैर एट वन पॉइंट टू आई वॉज लाइक वो द हेल्प नाउ वॉट इफ पीपल आर टॉकिंग लाइक इज नाउ वॉट पर ऑफकोर्स माई फादर नेवर बिलीव इन गिविंग अप एन टॉट मी लाइक डोंट गिव अप एवर don't go on people because obviously it's seen world i am not seen world i thought that is it finished now my life is finished so he used to give me uh, you know all this um, he used to pump me up every day with all these things and he used to tell me hum sikandar hai hum haar nahi mante ah, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. so he used to say that and he used to say hum raja hai rajasthani yeah. patane hum hum haar nahi manenge to he used to say that and and wo cheez jo hai wohi usi cheez ne mera saath diya itne saalon and then i i faced all of that we faced together if i didn't have my family support i don't think i would be able to survive to be very honest i was a very emotional mm. sensitive child um and i felt very deeply so it was uh, it was very hurtful to me mm. but if my family wasn't there to console me mm. to 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 tell me that you know it's okay mm. we are going to survive this you don't mm. have to you don't have to give in to this yeah we are there we i my father used to say i will get food for you you don't have to worry about getting food अब वो होता नहीं होता तो वो अलग बात है बट किसी के काइंड ऑफ कॉन्फिडेंस दैट इज गिविंग टू यू उससे ही बहुत मैटर करता है यू नो सो आई थिंक आई थिंक दैट रियली हैपेंस इन द इंडस्ट्री एंड देयर आर सो मेनी टाइम्स इवन टुडे आफ्टर डूइंग सो मच वर्क लाइक सो मेनी पीपल हैव देयर लॉबी एंड दे डोंट इवन लेट यू इन दे लुक डाउन अपॉन यू दे डोंट लुक डाउन अपॉन योर वर्क देयर आर सो मेनी पीपल यू टेल मी तुमने ऐसे शुरू किया तुम्हारा जैसे जैसे कि जैसे कि पूरी फिल्म फ्लॉप होने का रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज better is because i did not let that negativity uh, it did it did find its home in me mm. but i fought i fought mm. like a fighter and that's when i learned that boss you are very strong mm. you are stronger than you think you are you think like are ho gaya bas mera jahan aapko lagta hai na jahan aapka ho gaya bas wahi se ek alag taar chalu hota hai jo jisme aur strength hoti hai jisme aur then you realize about your limitlessness your power your true power and i think See, I'm a very spiritual person, so I al- always wonder, okay, why in my life have I been struggling? Why? What was the need? Or I see so many people struggling. Why? Why they are struggling so much? Today, when I am an observer of other people, I realize why we are struggling because we manifest it. We don't realize we are manifesting it. We become fearful of one trauma, and that fear we remains in our heart. And every time there is a new opportunity, that fear speaks first. अरे ऐसा तो नहीं हो जाएगा. अरे ऐसा तो नहीं हो जाएगा. अरे हम तो पहले ही flop हो गए. अरे हम तो पहले ही fail हो गए. ये तो हम तो फिर fail. हम तो guaranteed fail है. वो fear को जब आप ज़्यादा अपनी सोच देने लगते हैं, तो वो fear ही जीतता है फिर ये. जैसे मैंने आपसे कहा मैं गाड़ी के बारे में इतना सोच रही थी कि मैं ठोक नहीं दूँ, ठोक नहीं दूँ. मैंने इतनी अच्छी चलाई फिर भी साला कोई दूसरा ठोक गया. It was my fear. manifesting it so today i know that so today whenever there is a fearful thought i just tell it no we are good wo picture thi na 3 uh, days uh, 3 days yeah yeah i love that line you know you have to tell your heart ke all is well all is well so i actually tell that to myself yeah. we are safe we are good yeah. everything is good and then things go good when you give in to that fear no तो फिर और ट्रामा पे ट्रामा आपकी लाइफ में ट्रोमेटिक एक्सपीरियंस होते रहते जैसे कि मैंने कहा मैं बहुत डीपली फील करती थी hmm. मैं अपने ट्रामास को उतना ही डीप फील करती थी hmm. और मेरे फियर्स उतना ही डीपली मुझ पे प्ले करते थे और मेरी मैनिफेस्टिंग पावर इतनी स्ट्रॉन्ग थी कि मैं वैसी ही सिचुएशन और अपनी लाइफ में मैनिफेस्ट कर रही थी सो आई वुड गिव दैट ब्लेम टू एनी बडी टूडे एट डजन हैपन टू मी because today i am a very you got very, a control on your yes, mind i am a very happy manifester mm. i can manifest happy thoughts i can manifest happy uh, uh, happiness around me joy around me and so my life is very joyous mm. as simple as that you know uh, you spoke about this fact ki lobby wagera etc yeah. hota hai you know kabhi bhi uh, now in today's time you know a lot of people you can say might feel ki it's a matter of ego because i have become this i have become yeah. that so it's perhaps uh, you know a little weird to approach someone but in today's time uh, do you maybe say message a director ya fir koi film maker jinko aap jante ho 
कि यू नो मुझे अपने मूवी में कास्ट कर लो या मुझे अपने वेब सीरीज में कास्ट कर लो आई एम स्टिल देर आई माइट बी रेलिवेंट ऑन सोशल मीडिया बट दे स्टिल अ लॉट ऑफ एक्टिंग लेफ्ट इन मी विच आई कैन ब्रिंग टू द टेबल आई कैन कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट टू योर वर्क आप ऐसे मैसेजेस भेजते हो डायरेक्टर्स को and it was very shocking for me that at least a reply would be good mm. you know um, i'm being very honest here uh, but then when i meet them i tell them tab ja ke unka excuse kya hota hai they like so sorry so oh, sorry oh acha main idhar busy tha sorry bhai yeah busy tha miss ho gaya tere text dekha tha miss ho gaya but you know i i understand everybody has their priorities in life and i see chadte suraj ko sab salam karte hai ye agar aap samajh jaye na life mein to aapko dukh nahi hoga cheez hoga मैं समझ गई हूँ कि आप अगर आपका काम बोलता है अगर आपका काम अच्छा है और आप आ, एक बज क्रिएट कर पा रहे हैं मार्केट में तो आ, सब आपके साथ बात करेंगे अगर आप ये समझ गए ना आपने किसी के साथ वो इमोशनल टच नहीं रखा तो आप खुश हैं आप सुखी रहेंगे नहीं तो अगर आपको लगेगा कि नहीं यार ये ह्यूमन ड्यूटी है इस आदमी को एटलीस्ट मेरा रिप्लाई तो करना चाहिए तो, तो, तो सिर्फ कई लोग आपको भी फोन करते होंगे मैसेज yeah, करते so होंगे आप भी रिप्लाई नहीं करते हैं क्योंकि आपको वो मैटर नहीं करते क्योंकि आपको नहीं लगता है कि आपको रिप्लाई करना चाहिए या या मुझे कई बार लगता है कि यार कौन है ये बंदा क्यों मुझे मैसेज कर रहा है तो मैं नहीं करती उनसे अब मुझे लगता है कि कोई नॉन बंदा है तो मैं ऑलवेज रिप्लाई करूंगी बट वो मेरी सोच है मुझे लगता है कि हाँ ठीक है भाई इन्होंने सो एंड सो बंदे ने क्योंकि लोग जानते तो है ना मुझे लोगों ने मेरा काम भी देखा हुआ है जब मिलते हैं तो मुझे बोलते हैं आप बहुत अच्छे एक्टर भी हैं तो मतलब ये सब है तो भी सर आपने रिप्लाई नहीं किया मुझे I know that much yeah. so I, i i don't lose faith in me because of that yeah. my faith in me is always there sturdy yeah. it is always sometimes things take time yeah. for various reasons yeah. maybe i had my personal journey yeah. to to understand yeah. certain things yeah. which i think i do yeah. and and i did and that helps me becoming a better actor that helps me giving the performance of my life so everything that i do today is so much more mature so much yeah. more real so much more I love myself as an actor. Mm. I did not mm. a couple of years before. Mm. Um because I expect a lot. Mm. I feel like, you know, I'm one of those people who are like perfectionist mm. kind. Mm. Uh and uh I expect a lot out of myself. <laughs> so I was the biggest critic of myself when people used to say, "Aapne kya scene kya raise me like?" Main nahi aur better ho sakta. Maine to aisa kuch nahi kiya, you know. Mm. So now when I see my performance, I mm. like it. Mm. And so it's a great feeling. It's a great feeling that that yeah. I taught with the time that I got in between. Mm. to understand myself to understand mm. my thinking mm. pattern you know i just want to continue what you said right now uh, and i think there is so many numerous examples you know people who have been fine actors uh, but kahin na kahin jaake wo commercial success bol rahe ya fir yeah. wo box office acclaim yeah. bol rahe wo nahi mila this say bobby deol sir for example yeah. very uh, fine actor fantastic yeah, actor fantastic you know, actor. class bolo aap ya fir ashram bolo yes. there is vivek sir yes. uh, he has struggled to get a bit of commercial yeah. success pehle but he is doing fantastic work in yes. uh, ott right now so they have again they are like relevant abhi agar aap uh, you know see a vivek oberoi or bobby deol ke bare mein bolte ho so you understand ki chalo they have been stars yeah. but this like a 2.0 version of their that has come yes. out you know and they have done something to get that Internally, in your mind, in terms of getting that Shama Sikand, the 2.0 that I'm talking it about. It is coming. So <laughs> I, I really want to know that how have you actually understood that? Chalo, ha, ye ye mujhe karna chahiye, ye mujhe nahi karna chahiye. Wo jo bifurcation hota hai, you learn from experience. How have you done that? See, that is what I'm saying by using this time to my benefit is because I have done so much meditation, I have yeah. spent so much time with myself, and I've understood my value and my power to another level today. Yeah. Any doubt that was there before is not in there anymore. Any doubt of my worth was mm. there before is not there anymore. Mm. I know what I what I bring to the table. I know what I can do as an artist. I know what I want to do today. Mm. So I want to do cinema that can really that has the power to change the mentality of of people. I, at least I ask this to myself. Why am I an actor? Mm. I could have been anything else. Why am I an actor? Because as an inherent nature. एक सबकी एक इनहेरेंट नेचर होती है बाय दैट आई एम अलर बाय दैट आई टॉक ऑफ फीलिंग देन बाय एन एक्टर बिकॉज बींग एन एक्टर गिव मी 
gives me an opportunity to connect with such a large audience and today's audience today's people need healing mm. than ever they are talking they are asking of healing so if i can heal them through my cinema mm. if i can heal them in some way if i can change the mentality in some way with the gift that i have that is my purpose you know and this is the first time i realized my purpose is an artist because i i always had questions and mujhe mujhe actor nahi bana tha i became it mm. because of my father's uh, dream, dream. Yeah. but why mm. why i chose to focus on that why i chose to intentionally give my my energy to that there's a reason behind it and this is the reason so this is just the first time i realized that we mm. as an actor have mm. such a big purpose to, not only just to entertain people but to change their mindset there are so many films that are like a, a film like three idiot freaking yeah. i till date it fixes my anxiety any time there's a fearful thought i just say yeah, all is well all is well <laughs> we are good we are good we are good we are good yeah. i mean i learned that from the movie i did not learn it from any other thing at that time there were no podcasts available to yeah. teach you about mind and body and spirituality and science or neuroscience at that time there were only movies yeah i learned that from that i learned how to be loving and caring through movies i learned how to be giving and how to be heroic through movies yeah. so this cinema is not just an entertainment mm. it is a medium through which people can heal through which people can change mm. without forcing mm. You see, nobody forces you to do yeah, that. You just see it, you get inspired, and you, go and you automatically change. Mm. That's the only medium that does that. Mm. So I freaking love this industry today. I, and I, if I hadn't gotten this time yeah. on my hand to, you know, to evaluate all yeah. this, I wouldn't. I would not come to my 2.0 uh, version because these people are also, you know, reached that version because they had time, because they evaluated themselves, they understood themselves. Today they are the real. self that they were so meant to be today i am the real self that i am meant to be so whatever i do from now on henceforth will be mind blowing because all my life experience will talk in that my confidence of myself will talk in that that matters to an actor ऐसी बात पे 2.0 वाले फ्लेक्स कर दो आप मसल वाला बिकॉज आई थिंक दैट इज व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू दिखेंगे नहीं मेरे अरे होंगे होंगे इन बाइसेप्स से इधर नहीं होते इधर भी होता है आई थिंक बाइसेप्स इधर ही होते हैं भाई इधर ही होते हैं एंड दैट इज व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू दिखते हैं करेक्ट बट सुपर फन शमा थैंक यू सो मच फॉर जॉइनिंग अस ऑन द बॉलीवुड टॉक शो इट्स अ प्लेजर आई विश यू ऑल द बेस्ट जो 2.0 वर्जन है आई होप कि वो फ्लेक्स करके बहुत अच्छे से निकले आगे एंड आई होप द मजा आएगा एवरी टाइम यू डू एंड कम अप विद समथिंग आई विल बी द फर्स्ट वन टू हैव सम किक एज इंटरेक्शन सो स्वीट या इट्स ऑलवेज फन टॉकिंग टू यू ऑलवेज थैंक यू सो मच फॉर हैविंग माय प्लेजर and thank you for inviting thank you. to your house this beautiful house thank we have shot over here thank lot you. of fun thank you so much guys that's a wrap on the bollywood talk show today on iwm buzz this is your host shubhjit we'll see you again with another interesting episode very soon thank you so much bye